How's it going everybody? I hope y'all are having a good day. Today I'm going to be teaching you about how to edit your Lego mocks in Adobe Photoshop. Everybody is going to want to showcase their work differently online, but when it comes to my builds, I personally like to showcase them with a nice clean white background. I think it looks the best online and also makes all my mocks look cohesive. It's a great software and an even greater skill to learn, so let's jump right into it. This video will be a basic tutorial showcasing the tools I use most when it comes to editing my mocks. If you want a full tutorial on how to use Photoshop, I recommend using Skillshare. They have great classes. I'm going to show you how I edit two different mocks in this video. The first is my Morlana 1 mock from my Andor series. Alright, so right now I have Photoshop open on my desktop computer. I use a Mac. You can see some of the projects I've been working on here. I did have to blur some of them out though, like my wedding invitations, because there's no need for all of you to be seeing those. To start a project, you can go up to the upper left corner and click the button New File. A pop-up will come out and you can choose the size of the document you want and the orientation, whether you want a horizontal image for a website or a 5x7 picture. How I usually will start a project is just by dragging the unedited image of my mock. So again, on the left side of my screen, you can see my Morlana 1 picture. I'm going to just drag that into Photoshop and the image will pop up. Some basic tools here are the path selection tool and hand tool. The hand tool is nice to move the image around without editing anything. The path selection tool is kind of my go-to tool when I just don't want my cursor to have any effect on the image. Also, when you see me zooming in and out, I'm using a keyboard shortcut. On my Mac, it is Command plus or the minus. Command plus to zoom in and Command minus to zoom out. Some other helpful shortcuts you may see me using is Command Z. This is to undo something. And another helpful one is Command T. This is to resize the image. To start editing, I go over to the layer on the bottom right side. There is only one layer right now labeled background. It is currently locked, as you can see it has a little lock on it. To unlock it, double click it and rename it. I usually will name it something like original or original image, original mock. Now you can begin editing it. Next, I'm going to add another blank layer. Down in the bottom right corner, click the small box called layers. I'm labeling this one white background and bringing it under the original image so it is behind that one. Later in the process, we will color this layer white. Next, in the upper left side corner, find the magic wand tool. This tool is great when cutting out a clean background of an image. Just click that tool on the background and it should cut around your mock. This tool works best when your mock is contrasting the background. The tool isn't perfect and it didn't pick everything up, especially in the parts where the light bluish gray bricks and the trans clear bricks are. These parts definitely blend into the background a lot more. Also, the shadows underneath the mock weren't caught by the tool. These are very easy fixes though. Next, I'm going back to the upper left side and finding the magic wand tool again and right clicking it to find the quick selection tool. Go up to the top and make sure the minus symbol is selected. Then you can change the size of your selection tool. Since we have a minus symbol selected, the tool will allow you to undo certain areas that were selected by the magic wand tool. I'm just going and clicking the areas I don't want to delete. Obviously, I don't want to delete parts of my mocks, just the ugly background. I'm now just going around making sure everything looks good before I delete the selected image. Once it all looks good, I hit the delete key. Next, I want to get rid of the small bit of background around the lamp. I zoom in and again use the magic wand tool and click the background near the lamp. It's super easy. Now it's time to finish cleaning up the background under the mock. For this, I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool. I always think this looks like a little stick bird. For this tool, you just click around to create your shape, and then when you want to connect it, just double click and it automatically finds your starting point. Another shortcut to unselect something like this here, use Command D. I'm just going to very carefully click to cut out the shape I want to delete and then delete it. Now 
Now that my mock is all cut out of the background, I'm going to resize and center it. To do this, I make sure the original layer is selected and do Command T. Photoshop will show it's centered with those magenta lines. I then hit enter once it all looks good. It is time to add the white background now. I select my white background layer on the bottom right and then go up to the very top ribbon and click edit and then fill. This is where you can choose any color as your background. You then hit OK when you have a color picked out. Again, I always just do white. A trick I do like to do sometimes is temporarily change it to black. I then am able to see clearly if I cut everything properly and cleanly. Here you can kind of see it's a little messy right here from the magic wand tool. I want to smooth that up. Oops, made a mistake. Make sure to click the original image again so I am not deleting the background. We're almost done now. This next step isn't always necessary, but I have been doing it a lot more recently. On the left side, I will be using the spot healing tool. Once it is selected, I change up the size of it to be a lot smaller. This tool is great for cleaning up dust, hair, glares, and other distracting bits of the mock. You just click or drag spots and it blends it nicely for you. I just go around the entire mock cleaning it up. I also will use it sometimes to clean up the marks on Lego bricks from manufacturing. I hate those marks. Lastly, I want to show you how to add glow or outlines to the outside of the mock. Make sure again you have the original layer selected. Then go down to the FX button on the bottom right side. Here you can select Stroke, where you can get that outline on your mock. There is a lot of customization to play around with. Another option instead of Stroke is Outer Glow. Again, it is very customizable. I'm not a huge fan of the glow unless it was super, super subtle. Next, it is time to edit the color of the mock. I start by using their auto features. Go to the top ribbon and click Image and Auto Tone, Contrast, or Color. They don't always look good, so just Command Z if you want to undo it. For more specific edits, you again go up to Image and then Adjustments, and then there are a ton of options to edit your image. I usually will do Brightness slash Contrast and Vibrance. The rest of the edits I then will usually just do on my phone using Apple's photo editing. That is pretty much it though. It's a pretty simple process, especially when you've done it like a ton of times. Um, I then will export it by going up to file and then export as. Now I'm going to edit one more picture for you that will definitely need to be edited a little bit differently. Um, I just wanna show two different examples. I'm going to be editing my Imperial base mock. So again, I drag it into Photoshop just like before. Again, I change the name of it to unlock it and add another layer for the white background. I then grab the magic wand tool and click the background of the original image. All right, here we can see that since this mock is a lot bigger, I wasn't able to photograph it as cleanly as the other one, which means the magic wand tool doesn't work as well. I then will need to use the polygonal lasso tool to cut out the rest of the mock. This is definitely the most tedious part of this process, but it the tool works really, really well. After that is done, I changed the background to black to double check I didn't forget to cut out any parts and that it looks clean. Next, I then need to resize, rotate, and center the mock. Again, I use Command T. Next, I am again using their auto features like auto contrast and auto color. Then I am using the spot healing brush to clean up any dust particles or hair or any, anything else that snuck its way into the picture. A fun trick I'll sometimes do is brighten certain parts of the mock. So for example, this little control box, I want to be more colorful and brighter. I cut out the part I want to edit using the polygonal lasso tool. Once it is all selected, I copy, command C, and then paste, command V. This will automatically create a layer that features just the selected shape. Be sure to label your layers so it doesn't get confusing. Make sure it is selected and then go up to Image, Adjustments, and then Vibrance. And I will also use Brightness and Contrast. 
You can really see the difference when I hide the updates and show it again back and forth. It is subtle, but I think it makes a difference. I am going to do the same thing to this little flame on the right side of the mock. Again, it is a subtle difference, but worth it to enhance the mock. I'm only able to make a certain amount of mocks every year. Um, so when I do like get a chance to make the mock and edit them in Photoshop, I want to make it look as good as I possibly can. Because again, I only get to make so many a year. I only have a certain amount of time to create this art and I want to make it look as good as it possibly can. Lastly, like I said earlier, I needed to crop the image because it isn't fully centered because the original image had extra space on the left side. The crop tool is on the top left side. When you have it cropped, press the enter key. Well, I hope these tutorials helped explain my creative process a little, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, I highly recommend learning how to use Photoshop. It's a great skill to learn. I should have another mock coming out soonish. So again, thanks for watching. <laughs>